Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to our AutoCAD class. So today we are going to learn how to create section view with AutoCAD. And this is the indexing guide exercise that we did before. If you don't have it, you can just open a blank file. So whenever we talk about section view, because we want to see what's inside of the component, so instead of giving a front view and a top view, so here we have a top view and a section view. So we actually make a cut in the middle and come a little bit down here and continue the cut that passes through the slot and have a section view here. And we are looking in this direction. So it looks like they are all solid except the two holes here. And also we want to see the slot here. So here is the slot. And also for technical drawing, whenever we have a rib, we don't put the section hatch on there. Otherwise, whenever they are solid, we put the section hatch on it. And for the section line here, we usually use phantom line. You could also use hidden lines. All right, let's come back to AutoCAD and create the section view. So instead of uh, the front view here, we might want to create a section view that passes through this hole here and uh, goes in the middle of the rib and show this slot and to the right, then go to the top. So first of all, let's make a, a hatch. So let's create a new layer and call it as hatch. Then make it to be current. Then close it. The hatch is over here. Then if you click on the drop down button, we have hatch, gradient, and the boundary. So let's click on hatch here. And we have some options here. It could be all solid or with certain angles, or it's ANSI. So ANSI is short for American National Standards Institute. And we have multiple ANSI styles here. So let's just uh, use the third one here. Then we are going to have a hatch right here and click on it. Then right here, click on it. And also here, because those are all solid parts that you can say close hatch after you're done. Then if you want to modify the hatch, you can just uh, double click on it. Then you could change the scale here. So let's say you want it to be more loser, then you could change it to two, then enter, and maybe even more than three, enter. So for this example, I think one is a good number. So let's change it back to one. You could also change the angle here and the transparency. So when you do the assignment, it's going to be your responsibility to give a great scale. Let's see if your part is huge, let's see 60 or 100 units, then if you still have the scale factor as one, then it will be looking like a solid part. Then you will need to change the scale to a larger number here. So anyway, so let's close the hatch editor here. So assume that this part were solid, then we would need to create hatch in this area as well. However, based on the rules of technical drawing, the hatch should be in the opposite direction. Otherwise, it's difficult to tell the conjunction parts. So we are supposed to have hatch lines in the opposite direction. So let's see how to set that up. So I'm going to delete this part, delete. So we are going to create a rectangle that I'm going to show you how to mirror it. So the dimension doesn't matter, just to create the approximate shape. Then we're going to fill in with the hatch here and hit ESC. Then we're going to copy this part, Control C and Control V, put it here as a comparison. So if we just mirror, then select the object, which is this, the right click of the mouse after you're done, then specify the first point, it's the top point, then the second point is the bottom point, and say, no, not erasing the source objects because we want to have both. So this is not the direction that we're looking for. 
So the way we change it is you tap in mare hatch. So it's M-I-R-R -R without E there. So it's a mare hatch, then select it. Then the value right now is zero. So let's change it to one, then enter. Then let's mare the hatch again. So mare, select the object, which is the hatch, right click after you're done, select the top and the bottom point, then erase the source, say no. So this is what we are looking for. So after we are done with this part, we probably want to change the setting back. Otherwise, it will be always looking like this. So let's tap in mare, hatch, then set the number to be back to zero, then enter. Okay, now we are going to create the section view line here. So the line is going to pass through this hole and the slot since it's going to be the midpoint, so we probably want to turn on the quadrant point for the snap thing. Then we are going to create a new layer and I call it as phantom. So new one and phantom. Then the line tab here, if you don't have a phantom, you could click on load and screw down, then go to find them. So right now I'm going to select this point five ones because our object is relatively smaller. So find them two and say, okay, then select the find them line I just loaded, then say, okay, then close the window. Then we are going to draw the find them line. So go to the find them layer and make a line from here to the right. Then it's hard to get the center, so I'm going to escape. Then go to the line command again. We should be able to snap to the quadrant point. So start out here, then goes to the left, then goes up, then hit ESC. This little part, we are going to trim that off. Then Make here to go up, ESC, the similar thing on the right hand side, goes up, hit ESC. So as you can see, the phantom lines here, it didn't show up. So phantom line, it should be one long, two shorts, one long, two shorts. Instead of like a center line, it's one long, one short. So we are going to change the scale of those phantom lines. So let's select all those phantom lines, then right click of the mouse and go to properties. And the line type scale here, let's make it to be 0.3, then enter. So as you can see, all phantom lines showed up. Then close the window, hit ESC. Then you can save your work. And after this, we are going to create the arrow head here. So before we do that, we will need to set up the leader style, then create a leader, then explode the leader, and only use the arrowhead. So before we do that, so let's set up the leader style. Then click on new, and you could call it as section arrow. And continue. Then for the size, I'm going to make it to be 0.3. Then OK. Then close it. And it's section arrow here. Then let's create a leader. Then make it to be straight and ESC. Then we're going to explode this leader. So explode, select the object is this leader. Right click of the mouse. Then they are separate parts. Then delete the two lines. Then we are going to move the leader to here. So we probably need to turn on the snap of midpoint and uncheck the quadrant point because we no longer use it. Then we are going to move, then select the arrow, right click of the mouse, grab the center point, move it here, and we are going to copy it. So control C, control V, and paste it to the other side. Then move, 
the arrowhead, the center point, drop it down here. Then you can save your work. The next one, we are going to create a ladder here. Since I already have A here, so I'm going to put here as B. So we will need to create the text style first. Then for the standard one, new, and you could call it as section. Then OK. Then the font, we are going to use the Arial ones. And the height, let's make it to be 0.2. Then apply, close it, and double check, it's the section one. So let's create a single line text. The angle is zero, so just a snap straight to the right. Then tap in a B, so it's going to be a capital letter. Then hit ESC, move the letter B on top of the arrowhead. Then control C and paste it to the other side. And since this is the section view, so we also need to have a single line text here, say section B to B. And since it's technical drawing, so they are going to be all capital letters. So section B to B, then hit ESC. Then you can save your work. And this is all we have for section view. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.